How's it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some brand new green strong links, strong link triangles and some new perfect links FIFA 21 that you guys need to check out. We are just over two weeks away from the release of the 10 hours early access of FIFA 21, the web app, the companion app, everything coming out so soon i'm really excited ea are about to drop the full database i think either today or tomorrow as well so make sure you're checking out ea's twitter for that and check out my twitter link in the description where i've just announced i rate your teams for fifth 21 they're starting up this sunday there's a tweet on my twitter on how to get involved it's really easy go check that out in the description down below let's get into the video we started off with this left side dortmund link i'm excited for this shorts look looks like a really good left back in the bundesliga this year uh, as he usually does he looks like a decent start left back every year he's got like 87 pace but he's got a nice card akanji got a massive downgrade minus five however the card still looks decent 78 pace 78 defending i believe or 80 defending with decent physical as well still looks like a really good starter to be i don't think that you're going to be having akanji at the back even with a minus five downgrade and we've got emre chan who got one of the biggest shooting upgrades i've ever seen in fifa for it for a non-striker or someone that's not had like 30 goals in this season it honestly made no sense to me, but for some reason, Emre Chan got a massive shooting upgrade, which is fair enough, to be fair. He got a huge upgrade, and uh, and that's a GG for Emre Chan. Emre Chan up to 78 shooting on his card. This card looks like a phenomenal base card. Who knows what his in-game stats are going to have, but 83 defending, 87 physical, 80 dribbling, 74 pace, 78 shooting, and 79 passing. This is going to be one heck of a normal gold card. Then, of course, we have shoots. Uh, we can literally go over to the Borussia Dortmund page and have a look at all their players here um that have been confirmed so far so we have uh schultz near the bottom here 87 pace uh only 73 defending but still a decent start left back you don't always need huge defending on starter left backs i feel like and then we have a kanji uh it's a shame they haven't had any really decent confirmed right backs yet you know if hakimi was still uh, a right back at dormund they'd have a really good right side uh as well uh thorgan hazard has a decent card uh but yeah we have some decent dortmund players uh and not looking too bad now we have a really expensive perfect link in here I mean, i'm not just doing green link triangles we're doing perfect links as well we have of course the Werner kai havertz perfect link this is going to be absolutely fortunate to start the game however if you're one of those players that either gets insanely lucky next up we have the really expensive chelsea perfect link we have of course the havertz Werner perfect link down the middle this can be used in so many different aspects of the pitch if you're looking at bundesliga hybrid of course you can get the german links with of course the perfect link uh Werner can be converted down to a center mid Havertz could be converted to a striker whether you play like a 4-4-2 and have them both playing striker with their perfect links or a four dribble two like that uh either way they're going to get the perfect link and have some really decent over in 21 which I'm excited for it's going to be really expensive however you could get insanely lucky if you get your free ones to watch pack and pack one of these guys in the free ones to watch pack it's very unlikely you have that incredible look then you're just really lucky aren't you uh both these cards have really decent starter cards for 21. Kai Havertz might be a bit clunky given the fact that he's like six decent. I don't know if he got his height right this year, but that is literally how tall he actually is in real life. Um, it'll be interesting to see what his card is looking like. But yeah, this perfect link is looking pretty saucy for FIFA 21. Of course, both these cards have a really, really good starter cards. Werner having 85 shooting and 91 pace uh, with some really nice in-game stats. Only 76 balance, sadly. And Kai Havertz only having 78 agility and 74 balance. But both of them still look like really good cards regardless. Uh, the only disappointing thing I think with Verda is the three-star skill moves. I hope he gets like a winter skill move update. Whether he deserves it or not, I don't actually know because I don't really want a bunch of Verna. But I'll see him a lot in the Premier League and hopefully he does a bunch of, I, I, I don't know, like Lacroquettes or something. I have no idea what he could do to get a four-star skill move upgrade. But some really, really decent links here with uh, with Chelsea. They've got a few, obviously, really good players in the transfer window, and these are definitely two of their best. I just want to give a quick shout-out as well to Footbin. Uh, make sure you guys check these guys out. Um, if you guys want to check out new ratings and things like that, they're, they're always the best site. A massive shout-out to Footbin. Uh, they're always doing a really good work in getting all the new players up, for example. Um, when EA drop any new players, they get them up on the site pretty much instantly. You can go on their latest page here to check them all out. Or you can literally just go and search for their FIFA 21 players and stuff like that. So yeah, just check out Footbin. Not sponsored or anything like that. I just think they look pretty decent. Halfway through recording this video, a brand new Amazon package just arrived. It's a new camera. Look how this package just arrived. Are you kidding me? This is opened. I haven't opened this. This is how it arrived. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to return this if it's broken or stolen. Can confirm everything's there. I just 
need to go through after this video and make sure it's not broken. Anyway, let's return to this video. From expensive to cheap now, we have a pretty cheap uh, Premier League triangle here. Now, I will say when EA actually announced Mason Greenwood and maybe Reece James as well, they announced them as rare golds. They're actually non-rare, or at least Mason Greenwood's a non-rare gold in FIFA 21. I don't know about Reece James, but Mason Greenwood is a non-rare gold. So I don't know why EA announced them as rare golds when they're non-rares. I have no idea. However, these are what the cards are looking like. It's a really good link, actually. It'd be really cheap. Oxley Chamberlain has a really nice FIFA 21 starter card as well. Uh, Reese James has got, I think, 80 pace. Will be decent with a little chemist style on as well. And Mason Greenwood's got a decent card. A good room for upgrade. Pretty fair card, if you ask me. I, you know, I thought the pace might have been up a little bit. But apart from that, pretty fair card. Um, I'm just hoping it gets a five-star weak foot and uh, and some decent in-game stats. So this is what Mason Greenwood's card is looking like. 81 pace. I thought it deserved to be like 86, 87, but he also got 78 dribbling, 78 shooting. Uh, will be decent for like a striker in a starter team, I think. Uh, whack a hawk on him and it'll be really good in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, he's got that card. Then we've got, of course, uh, we'll go over to the Premier League and look at, uh, I think it's page four that we'll be able to see the rest of these on. Uh, but there's Mason Greenwood. He's actually a non-rare. I don't know why it says he's a rare. We've got Reese James's card here. Another decent starter right back, if you ask me. Um, decent dribbling, decent pace, decent defending, decent physical. Again, like an anchor card on him, and he'll be great. Um, and then, of course, we've got Oxley Chamberlain. He's actually on the next page, and I've just clicked on the first page by accident. Oxley Chamberlain's on the next page, um, who's actually a really, really good starter centre mid. I don't think he'll be expensive either. I think it'll be a decent, fair price, but really nice all-round stats, and also 67 defending, so... You know, a decent defensive chem style on him, and he'll actually be perfect, in my opinion. As a really good, well-rounded centre mid. Uh, decent pace, decent dribbling, decent passing, decent physical, decent shooting as well. So, yeah, decent all-round English free trio. Now we have one of the most exciting perfect links. Now, the ratings are not confirmed with these. Um, these are just uh, guessing uh, ratings-wise. But we have the Allen, Richarlison, perfect link. The ratings could be completely off. They've not been announced yet, but... This perfect link is going to be so good in FIFA 21, in my opinion. Allen was meta last year. Hopefully, he's going to be meta this year. Richarlison could get a really nice upgrade, given he's had a really good season, in my opinion. Um, this will be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully, uh, yeah, these two get a decent little upgrade. because I think they'll work really well together. Um, I'm excited for Allen as well in the Premier League. Uh, having another Brazilian midfielder that's really usable, I think will be great for hybrids and stuff like that as well. Um, and he's got some really nice links. So, yeah, super exciting for these two. Let's sort of see how they uh, pan out and what their ratings are at the start of the game. This is a different one. I've gone with uh, a three link here and one of them's not even a strong link. So it's not a green link triangle, but it's a strong link between Alwar and Kamara. And then we, of course, have uh, Diaby out there at left wing. Diaby's had a decent little upgrade. Uh, Kamara's had a nice upgrade as well. And Alwar's got a nice card at the start of every game. Uh, I think that French this year will be the go-to for most starter squads. Um, uh, to me, it just seems like a no-brainer to use French in your starter squad. It's absolutely OP. Um, it looks like they've got some really, really nice cards as well. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. And I think French will be the go-to for most starter squads. Um, I think that this will be incredibly usable and incredibly exciting. Uh, so, yeah. For the first time in, a, in quite a while, in my opinion, we've actually got a really good starter uh, league and left back. Usually, we get like burnout and things like that. But we don't get like a high-paced, good French left, uh, left back in league and. I think last time was Furlan Mendy before he moved to uh, Real Madrid. Uh, but this card looks really, really good. Uh, if we go and have a look at more league and players, uh, we can have a look at the likes of... Uh, okay, it's actually on the first page. Not that many have been announced. I'm quite surprised, actually. Uh, we can actually have a look at some of uh, some more decent links they've got there. Uh, it looks like Alwa has not actually been announced, but I gave him an 81 anyway. I, I thought he'd been announced. Anyway, we've got Kimpembe over here uh, with a nice card for the start of the game. Uh, we've got actually some decent cards. We've got Diallo's got a decent card here as well um we've got of course Bernard getting an 83 rated card Payet's got an okay card apart from his pace um there's some decent links here get uh get some Martins as well has got a decent link um but yeah some really really nice big upgrades uh I'm quite happy with them if we go over to French as well uh we can have a look at some of the French players that we've got this year so many French icons oh my word um but yeah we should be able to see Diaby over here with a really really nice upgrade apart from his shooting um, he'll be pretty decent for the start of the game, in my opinion. Uh, Sir Max Amin's had a really, really nice upgrade as well. Um, 93 pace, 87 dribbling on his card is phenomenal. So, yeah, some really, really nice uh, players in FIFA 21. Another interesting one here with the Piedmonte Calcio uh, hybrid triple link here. Um, Arthur's not confirmed, so don't expect that to be his rating. I've just guessed 84 because I have no idea what Arthur's rating is going to be. Uh, but Delic got a very nice pace upgrade. Alexandra's got a very nice left back card. So I've gone with those two as a link, and I think Arthur will just kind of gel it all together. I think Arthur should get a really nice card at the start of the game. 
Uh, I'm really excited to use that Delict. He's had a really tasty pace upgrade. Will work really well with Norma Van Dyke now or in just Dutch squads and things like that. Um, I think he'll be incredibly usable at the start of the game. If not incredibly desirable, maybe first weekend you can see a lot of people rocking um, like a Piemonte Calcio triple link and things like that. Uh, Quadrado got a nice right back card as well. So you can easily do this on the right hand side with Quadrado. Um, overall, yeah, Piemonte Calcio uh, players got some very nice uh, upgrades. Like I said, a nice pace upgrade. Acceleration's still not quite there. However, obviously an anchor card would make that all the more better, in my opinion, for Delict. But a very nice card indeed. Uh, he's got <clears throat> he's got some very nice stats. 85 defending, 84 physical, 72 pace, 69 dribbling, and six passing. Uh, overall, maybe an engine or an anchor would be a phenomenal upgrade for this Dilic card. I've gone with two Real Madrid uh, green link triangles here. We've gone with the first one on the right. Gareth Bale, although getting a downgrade, has a really exciting card. Valverde's got a really exciting card. And Carver Hell got a nice upgrade as well. So you can easily see this right side uh, triangle being implemented. I think Valverde in a pivot would work really well with a more defensive CDM. Uh, obviously, we've seen uh, a few more, like Marcus Lorente got a really, really nice upgrade. You'll see that in a second as well. Um, but we've gone with this one for the first, uh, the green link triangle for Real Madrid. Then if we go over to the second one in just a second, we can see uh, a left-sided one in Mendy, Varane, and Valverde. Way more expensive, but if you're rocking the expensive squads at the start of the game, this green link triangle could be perfect for you. Furlan Mendy got a huge upgrade at the start of the game to an 83 from an 80. Uh, very, very nice stats for a right back. He'll uh, Sorry, for a right back, for a left back. He will be so expensive at the start of the game, in my opinion. If we look at more Real cards, obviously Carvajal got a very nice upgrade. Varane got a nice upgrade as well. Uh, we've got Valverde with a phenomenal card. Like I said, in the pivot, he'll be fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, overall, just be a really good center middle CDM. Gareth Bale with a downgrade still with a great looking card as well. Just more of a, a pace and power kind of card will be a really, really good starter card, in my opinion. Good at striker as well. Yeah, Real have got a really, really nice setup of, uh, of items here. They've got some really, really nice upgrades. A few little downgrades here and there as well. Um, but overall, a nice setup of, uh, of decent cards. And Benzema and Casemiro with big upgrades too. We are ending it off now with the last green strong link triangle for this video. I'll do another video closer to FIFA 21 when we have the full database out as well with some more hidden triangles that you might want to use. We have the Gaia, Inigo Martinez, Marcus Llorente, uh, or Llorente Llorente, uh, green and strong link triangle here. I believe all three of these are confirmed. At least I know Marcus Llorente and Inigo Martinez are confirmed. Gaia got leaked. I don't know whether it was confirmed or not. I guess we'll see if he's on footbin in just a second. But wait till you see this Marcus Llorente card if you've not seen it already. He looks like an absolute beast. Huge upgrade from last year. I think he got plus 24 pace, which is absolutely ridiculous. But all three cards look phenomenal and i think this will be on the cheaper side for a green strong link triangle too this card looks phenomenal for the start of next year uh i reckon i'll have at least three star skill moves and a four star weak foot as well which will be really really good uh but he looks absolutely incredible let's have a look for spanish players then and see if the other ones are confirmed i believe they are but i'm not 100 percent uh it doesn't look like uh either of them have been put on footbin yet but they were leaked as their ratings and both had really really nice cards uh, but we have some really good Spaniards this year as well. We've got obviously Jesus Navas with a really nice right back card. He'll be really good to use. Uh, uh, Inaki Williams. I always said Inigo Williams. Inaki Williams there with a really, really nice card as well. Uh, Aspas got a nice card as well. We've got some really nice Spaniards to use this year. Uh, and I think we'll have some really nice players for a cheaper Spanish or La Liga starter team as well. Grimaldo looks great as well. Uh, Coke, Parejo, Rodri, um, all with some decent cards. And at very least, Spanish is going to be the way to go for fodder. But that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for the epic support. And I'll see you later.